Welcome to another quick video. This time we're gonna be doing a micro painting of Notre Dame de Paris. I'm using raw amber to start a rough initial sketch. I'm going for the general shape of the building and trying to capture the darkest features that I can see. Essentially every major architectural feature that projects some shadow or that has some darkness into it. I'm going to try to place it in the beginning stages. It is important that we are precise with what we're doing because this is going to be the foundation for later layers of paint. I'm still using raw amber. Once I'm satisfied with the drawing, I can start blocking in the background color. For the sky, I will be using cerulean blue and cobalt blue. I am going to be placing some clouds in the sky. For this, I will be using zinc white at the beginning to create the shape that I want. And on top of that, I'm going to be applying different layers of raw amber and titanium white. The shadows of the clouds are going to contain raw amber and a bit of blue. And the highlights are going to be almost pure titanium white. Once I am satisfied with the shape of the cloud, it's a matter of going back and forth with the blue and the white until I can refine the edges to the point that I want them to be. This is a, a slow process usually because unless you have a very defined idea of what the shape of the cloud is going to be, it is always a bit of trial and error. The last stage of creating clouds is going to be adding some hints of pure titanium white to represent the light of the sun. Okay, finally we start with the details on the left tower. Usually we're going to be working on wet paint because this is an a la prima. It means in one go. So we're going to try not to blend the paint too much. This is a very tiny painting and there's not a lot of margin for blending inside within the canvas, let's say. So we need to be precise about the colors that we're placing because it's the, the color that we put is gonna, it's gonna be almost on its pure form. So it needs to be the right color. For the mid-tones of the tower, I am using titanium white mixed with transparent oxide red and a hint of yellow ochre and on top of that, for the highlights of the tower, I'm going to be using almost pure titanium white with a hint of yellow ochre. It's, um, it requires a lot of patience to be adding all the details. Uh, take your time, don't, don't rush it. Essentially, the most important thing here is going to be the drawing and um, being faithful to the original design. Of course, if we see an error, we can we can fix it, but it's important to try to take your time and to be faithful to the to the design of the of the church or the building that you're representing. It is always important that you have a good reference. In this case, I am using a photograph of Notre Dame that I took a couple of years ago. Okay, now I'm continuing refining the, the drawing on the right tower. I am advancing in stages. First I finished the left tower, then I went for the middle part, and now I'm going for the right. So essentially, because this is a... Um, um, the design is even, let's say. Mm. Left tower is going to be the same as the right one, so 
at this point it's just a matter of being faithful to to the work that we have already established on the canvas uh, going for the final miniature statues on the on the bottom part um, I'm using very thin brushes these are custom made but it's okay you can you can use the brushes that you can buy at the at the local art store any miniature brush will do just fine once uh, we are satisfied with the with the building we can start adding in some some of the of the features of the surrounding environment in this case because Notre Dame is a focal point it's going to get the most detail okay this would be all for this one I hope you like it and see you for the next one.